CCOB 8, we look at the congruence criteria of triangles. In other words, what is the minimum requirements to establish the two triangles are congruent? I will show, uh, using a little patty paper here in a minute, how you can do a very um, good exercise in the classroom to experience uh, congruence. And I'm also going to say that I'm not going to get really technical. Um, there are notes provided that have kind of the very technical nature of how we can do this uh, in a more formal way through transformations. Um, in a minute when I get under the Elmo I'll show you a little more informal way but a very powerful way for students to make sense of this. Let me quickly go through the basic things that could be provided and to see if they are indeed congru uh, congruence criteria or not. So we could do a single side, a single angle, two sides, two angles. We could do a side and then an angle on the side. We could do angle, side, angle. We could do angle, angle, side, which sometimes is written in the reverse. We could also do side, side, side. And then we could also do what's called angle, side, side, or side, side, angle. Let's just quickly talk about just the general theory of these uh, different options. I think some of them are more obvious than others why they do or don't work. A single side, I think, is just very obvious that if we only had uh, one side that matched, it would not in any way control the congruence nature of those two triangles. It would also be uh, true that if all we had was one angle, so let's say a 90 degree angle, just because this triangle had a 90 degree angle, it would definitely not require the other to be also congruent based on one angle. So this is not enough, this is not enough. So we begin to upscale what we could or uh, should know. Uh, two sides, so let's think about the requirement of two sides. If I create uh, a triangle with these two sides, would I be forced to create a triangle with the, um, with the exact same shape if I had those same two sides? The answer, of course, is no. If I take that second side here and make it here, obviously I have two sides that match but not two triangles. What I would like to tell you here in this, in this situation what allows me to make this not, um, or just make it not congruent, is that this angle can become anything I want. In a minute you'll see if I fix that angle in, it locks it into place. Well maybe let's do that right now. So if we jump down to a side, an angle, and then a side, so we would put an angle in here, lock that angle in, now notice the angle is between the two S's, which means it's called the included angle. It's the one physically between the two givens. That actually that indeed would be enough because I would be forced to create an angle that matches. And then I would have to go that exact distance and it would lock it into place. So this one is a very good uh, reason or criteria for congruence. Another thing that you can do to lock a, a triangle into place upgrading from the two side environment is to actually lock in the third side. There would only be one way to place this side and this side to close it exactly the same length each time. And so we learn that side angle side also is a very good uh, criteria for uh, congruence. Now let's go back to the angle angle uh, uh, question. Angle angle you'd think is pretty good but it is not. Um, it would be easy to create a triangle let's say that has a right angle and a 30 and I could also create another triangle that has those same angles but could be much larger, like this 30-90 here. Or a good example of why AA isn't uh, working is because you could have an equilateral that has 360 degrees or two, you can think of it there, 
and then if you went to a larger one, a larger equilateral would also have two angles. Do you see how two angles, and actually this also tells us that three angles doesn't help us either, that whether they can be get bigger or smaller. So it doesn't form congruence, but those become important in a later topic in geometry called similarity. So these aren't good enough, but let's go back to how do we fix AA to make it work. Well, if we lock in the side, if you make an angle, so let's just make a general angle of 60, and if you lock in a length so that you get to that spot and then you have to there form the angle of 60, you will create an exact copy. Once again, that side helps to lock it into place. It, it, it doesn't allow it to grow bigger or smaller without limitation. The side locks it. So angle, side, angle is good to go. Now angle, angle, side is sometimes um, not included in textbooks, not because it doesn't work, but because some textbooks think it's kind of the same thing as this. So let me speak to that idea. So if I gave you two angles, let's say, uh, again, let's say 60 and 90 and this side, and I made another one um, that is 60, 90, and this length of side. So we're kind of saying, well, would this work? Would they have to be the same? Could I have done that differently? Why these kind of have a connection is you know that if you know two angles in a triangle, you actually are also known to the third angle. And so two angles and a side that is not included is really kind of um, a tricky form of angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle. Because if you know two angles, actually you're guaranteed to know the third. So really, if we felt good about angle, side, angle, which we did, if you know two angles, you actually know all three. So it's actually what we know is this, and there's our angle, side, angle hiding inside of there anyways. But, <coughs> excuse me, instead of just doing this, lots of books and teachers use angle, angle, side as well. So it is also good. The last one is a little more interesting and a little more tricky. And depending on who you are and what teacher you have and, and what state you're in, they might handle this a little bit differently. I will explain this one a little bit more uh, under the Elmo uh, in a separate video so teachers can choose whether to use it or not. Um, this one creates a couple of different environments. So I'm just going to quickly state uh, what they are. Is that this one creates sometimes a congruence under certain cases and sometimes not. So some textbooks just dump this one completely um, but other books uh, embrace it and use it. In my materials here you'll find it integrated. Uh, there will be cases that work um, like what we call the hypotenuse leg case. Uh, there's a case that works where side 2 is greater than side 1. There's cases where it doesn't work and so in a separate little video here I'll demonstrate the case-by-case -case, uh, situation and uh, how it works. So in class we use this activity as a way to discover which criteria work. Let me just demonstrate how this little activity uh, works so nicely. So let's say we wanted to test if AA was a criteria. We're going to make a triangle based off of two angles. We'll just use angle 1 and 2 to demonstrate this. So let me make uh, angle 2, just quickly with my ruler and uh, pen here, we'll make angle 2. So there it is, I extend the rays on it. And then I want to close that uh, triangle using angle 1. So I bring it down here, and it looks like it will work out nicely uh, if I close it with this angle 1. And there's angle 1. So I was able to make a triangle with angle 2 and angle 1. So the question is, is if I did this again, and <clears throat> let's, uh, let's do it again, 
let's make angle one first and just see what happens if uh, if I make angle one first. So I extend the sides and make an angle one. There it is, an angle one. And then I say, what happens if I go down and create my angle two next? I lay it down and form the angle two. Use my pen to create it and my ruler. And then it creates two triangles. And it becomes fairly obvious that these are not congruent because I can't map one onto the other. One is much smaller than the other. So let's test it out again. Um, well, let's use um, angle side angle this time. This was AA and it wasn't any good. Let's try an angle side angle. Let's use angle two again. Uh, let's use side B as a middle side, an included one, and then angle one. So let's try it one more time. And uh, let's try it with two, B, and one. So let's create uh, angle two. This is testing angle and then a side and then an angle. So here's my angle two. Now the side I need uh, is, let's see, what did I pick? B. So I'm going to lay it down on B, mark how far B goes. It goes right to this mark. And now I'm going to close my triangle with angle 1. Here is my angle 1. So again, I'm interested to know, is this criteria enough that we will all form the exact same triangle and be congruent? So there's my first one. So now I will do it again. Just for sake of difference, I'll do it uh, the angle side angle in a reverse order. I'll do angle one first. So let me create my angle one. And uh, here it is. And then I will do side B next. So I lay my angle one on B. I mark off how far B is. And I'm going to close my triangle with angle two. So I lay it down. There we go. Now what's interesting is I did uh, an angle, a side, and an angle, and I did them in the same um, ordering, and I got a triangle. And you and I say, well, do ours match? Uh, no, not really. And then someone says, hey, what happens if you reflect it? And sure enough, wham, right on top of each other. Angle, side, angle establishes congruence. That, that angle locks it, uh, that side locks it nicely up into place. So this is all preparatory work for your ability to recognize when things are or are not uh, congruent. And so uh, just if we look at these examples here quickly, we'll get an idea. It says, are the following congruent? Use these criteria. So three sides is a yes. Side, side, side is yes. This is angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle. That's yes. Angle, side, angle. Oh, no, it's not. What am I saying? I'm saying it out loud, but thinking something else. Side, angle, side. Sorry, friends. Side, angle, side, and side, angle, side. This is an angle and then two sides. Um, and that isn't, uh, well, it is actually there. It is an angle, and then the second side is longer than the first side. So that's it. But it actually gets an even more fixed name of HL because it's a hypotenuse and a leg that's known. Here, uh, we have an angle and then a side and an angle, and then it matches over here. So yes, that's an angle, side, angle. Here we get angle, angle, side, angle, angle, side. This is also a yes, by angle, angle, side. Three angles and three angles is no. Three angles or even two angles is a no answer. So there is no criteria there. Here we have an angle, side, and then a side. So that's this case. And it is true that the second side from the angle is longer than the first, so that this would be a yes uh, by angle side one, side two, where side two is greater than side one. Here we're missing a little information, but because this is a common side, uh, a side that's used by both triangles, it's the same. And so this would be side, 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 and a yes answer. And then here we're just missing too much information, and so it's a no answer. Now the last thing maybe to demonstrate here is um, uh, how to write a congruence uh, statement and, and identify it. So 
Here I have two angles and a side, two angles and a side. So this is a yes answer. Uh, two angles and a side. And then you just name the first triangle. I'm going to name it EDC. E D C. And now I have to match it in a corresponding way. So E matches up with M. D matches with N. So we go M, N, M, N, C would be my answer. Here, uh, as I look at this, I notice that there's a common side between them here. And so I get uh, angle, side, angle would be my criteria. And again, name the first one and then the next one comes along for free. So D, E, C. D matches up with R, R, E, C would be this answer. And then, uh, again, another common little side right there, shared between the two triangles, side, angle, side, side, angle, side. That is also a congruence uh, relationship. And let's call it D, E, C. And D matches up with T, so T, C, E would be uh, the corresponding one. And this is how we identify uh, congruences and use the criteria.